This is a paid advertisement from BetterHelp Therapy Online. It's back to school season and while I am more than happy not to be spending my days studying, I do miss learning new things and feeling like you're growing so much. Yeah, I feel like as adults we just never make the time to learn something new. Like, what was the last thing that you think you learned? Probably my time, but that was months and months ago now. Yeah. So I do want to reconnect with that sense of curiosity that I had as a child. Yeah. And that's where therapy can help. It offers you a chance to have your back to school era no matter your age. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give better help a try. Because it's entirely online, it's convenient, flexible and suited to your schedule, unlike school or college. And all you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a therapist. And if you want, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. With over 5,000 therapists available, BetterHelp can provide access to mental health professionals with a wide variety of expertise. Rediscover your curiosity with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash HMD today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash HMD. Go loud. Welcome to How I Drink Extra Juice. This is our bonus episode where we get to be a little bit looser and a little bit less restricted in what we say than our main episode. And this week's bonus episode is sponsored by Primark or Pennies. And the arrival of autumn fashion of Pennies has us dying for the seasons to change. Have you seen all the bed sheets and stuff now? No. Everything's pumping. Oh. Obsessed. I need to get in. Actually, Dan and probably won't end me because he gets too warm in the night. But <laughs> oh yeah, lovely. Um, you bedsheet. and your Sherpa bed sheets. The Sherpa bed sheets. I can't cope. Well, I might get them for if he's ever away and just put them on. Yeah, on yeah. His lie. While he's he gone. He just that man like wants the window open in like zero degree heat. Like just to be cold. I do he get that being, co- being cold in bed. And if it's not open, he'll like sweat profusely. Oh. So Sherpa then bed sheets. Really, when yeah. Dan not there. Yes. Right. Whether you're channeling an Ivy League aesthetic or embracing the modern preppy look, you can now shop a range of autumn essentials in store. Cozy up with varsity jumpers, check dresses, the perfect fit in jeans and refresh your wardrobe with autumnal accessories and layering pieces. Head to Pennies today to discover your autumn wardrobe staples. I need to do a Pennies shop. I need to go in and just get all my knit stuff. Yeah, I've seen the cardigans as well. Yeah, the long ones. Yeah. No, they're short. Oh, with the nice buttons. I saw a long one that I was like, oh, that's a bit of me oh. now. Needs. Love. I love. And their knitwear, like, lasts you until for the years. Do you still have that pink one? Still pink one, yeah. I bought two at the time. Oh, look at you. Never wanted to get, get rid of it. Just in, <laughs> case, just in case I lost one. <laughs> we always start off with rant of the week. So it's where we get to give out about something that's happened to us, something that we're annoyed about, something that makes no sense sometimes, and a first world problem. So anything, really, that has cheesed us off in the mm. last week. I I don't think anything is annoying me this week. Lucky you, girl. Well, it probably has. Nothing. No. You just had a good week. That's good. Yeah. Wait, I did feel like I had something down my head. No. No? You just had a great week. A nice weekend, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Nothing pissed you off or anything? No. No one sent me weird DMs. <laughs> no videos were made about me. <laughs> That's the epitome of a good yeah, weekend. It's been great, yeah. That's success to me. Yeah? What's well, serious? Uh, just alcohol. I just hate it and I'm actually, I've had enough of it now. Fair, actually. I know I, I agree with that. I probably come in a lot and say that all the time, but like after that weekend, I'm not going to. Really? Oh did you, my. Did you end up drinking the two nights? No. Or just no, that? just the one. Yeah. Until the wee hours of Sunday. And also I'm realising that alcohol is making me black out lately and it's really scaring me. Like You don't remember? Yeah, it's really not good. And I've never been like that. I was only saying to my mum the other day, I was like, she came up from holidays yesterday, actually I was talking to her. And I was like, I, I'm blacking out lately. I don't remember how I got home. I don't remember. Like, that's scary when... Have you never got that no. before in your life? Really? Like, maybe once in a blue moon, but like, usually I'm the one... Like, Lauren was texting me and she was like, I've never ever... Their running joke with like Lauren and Kayla and all them is, we've never seen Ellen drunk. Like, they just have a running joke like that, that I'm never like platic or I'm never yeah, like... Yeah. Graham said I was falling into people and all. Like, I don't know, like I was sloppy drunk and I just have the ick from myself. Oh no. Yeah, the ick. I knew you were drunk. You knew I was? Are you fucking mad? I, 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 <laughs> I drank, wasn't even there. I, I drank two bottles of Prosecco to myself and they're the only ones that I remember drinking. But I was drinking also while I was getting ready. I remember drinking two bottles of Prosecco when I was out and then I don't know what came after that. Don't know what I was drinking. <gasps> Shots. We went to, I couldn't tell you. We went to different places. I don't remember getting there. Don't remember coming, like little things are coming into my head and I'm like, that's like a flashback. Like. Yeah, but like not even a flashback when I really try and remember things I don't. Yeah, it's not nice. It's kind of uncomfortable because you're like, I'm like, what the? I like, know. That's scary. Yeah. Scary. At least they're around people though that like. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Brand, I'd be safe, but, but still like that. I know. 
that makes me feel ick about myself. Yeah. Like, ew, no. So I'm, I'm not going to, I can't, yeah. Haven't been to the gym since Thursday. Haven't been eating that. Like, I've been eating takeaways all weekend. Yeah. So it's having an effect on It really on that. does. It knocks on to every part of my life. Oh my I God. When I'm hungover. My Mendy H. Mm. No. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. In the swanny. And you're going to Portugal this week. Yeah, I'm not drinking. Take this clip. No, again. seriously. I'm looking into the camera. I'm not drinking in Portugal this weekend. I'm not. I'm only gone for two days. I can oh, do it. two days. The girls keep sending the weather in, saying that the weather's shit. And I'm like, yes. But it's hard when you're around your friends and like you're in the airport and you want to have a little... They can piss off. I know. Oh, I, I'm I staying in a hotel with sober. Jasmine on my own. Okay. So we, did, we didn't get a hotel together. The four of us, we couldn't. Whatever way it worked out, we couldn't get a hotel for the four of us together. Oh, so you'd be fine. So I'm staying with Jasmine on my own. So like... It's not as if the four of us are all sharing a room and yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, bye. And it's only four is like, that's not. Yeah, it's not a sesh, like, do you know what I mean? No. Do you hear that, Nikayla and Tremaine and Jackson? <laughs> I'm done. I'm not going to. It's making me so depressed. Really? Yeah, and I never. you know. Oh, yeah. I never usually feel like that, but like, Jesus Christ. Really? It's like, what good came out of that? I know. We had the conversation in London and we were like, and then that night we got drunk, but we were like, what actually good comes out of drinking? Like all these, we're na- naming everything bad that happens. And we're like, what good comes out? Good, good memory that you can't Sick. remember. <laughs> like, but even in London, like I was a crying drunk. Like that's a fucking ache as no, well. Do you know what uh, I mean? No. I was because a crying drunk that night. Then I was a blackout drunk another night. Like that's not, that is so ew. Like, But sometimes then it's like, it's hard to weigh out the pros and cons. Because sometimes you're like, you look back at the night and you're like, that was unreal. But like it probably yeah. wasn't fun either way. Me and Graham were talking about it and he was like, I'd love to not drink. I would love to. He's done it before. Really? Yeah, the whole of last Christmas, I think he did, he did it for like four months, three or four months. He just knocked it. He was like, no, I'm not doing it. And he was only saying to me the other day, he was like, on one hand, you think, yeah, no, I don't want to drink anymore. Like, it's really not worth it. What yeah. comes out of it? And he was like, but then on the other hand, you think, oh, yeah, but I'm so young. I'm only young. I'll only be That's this young now. Yeah. Like, am I going to look back and be like, oh, why well, should I just let my hair down? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, but I'm letting it down to the point where I don't remember going home. That's a problem as well because like you don't drink often so like I feel like then hangovers hit way worse no but I think I do you don't you don't drink every weekend I was locked last tour a lot of night. people do drink every weekend a lot of people drink Saturday a lot night. during the week like two days out of a week yeah but nice. that's out of when when was the last time you drank before that probably the weekend before <laughs> <laughs> no no I'm done I'm off really it. yeah I can't it's making me so sad yeah so sad. It's not good for him and I felt so anxious after drinking. I couldn't even text any. It was all weekend. And I saw all the yeah. messages flying in. There was like 500 messages in the WhatsApp. I was like, I'm not clicking into any of them. No. The last thing I wanted to do was talk to any... But that it wasn't... I'm the opposite. I need to talk to everyone. No. That wasn't even just our group chat. Like that was every everyone. group chat. Like I just didn't want to talk to a soul. I didn't post on Instagram from like Friday to yesterday. Well, I did. You Saturday, but... Fuck me. That's what I knew. Yeah. <laughs> you know that for our Christmas as well. I was like, yep. Just had a Jaeger bomb. I'm just a dope. Like, honestly. <laughs> no. But like, you had a good night. Oh, I had a ball. Like, but from what I remember. Yeah. But then on the other hand. Yeah. Rant of the week is... This is going to start being called Hold My Water. Yeah, Hold My Non-Alcoholic at one, at one point, we're going to become sober. A pioneer. Is that what they're called? I'd love to, honestly. I'd say the longer you're sober, the longer you want to stay sober because you're like, I'm actually so productive. All these TikToks keep moving up now. They're like, all so about sobriety, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. And there's some fella talking to you. He's like, just give yourself 30 days. What have you got to lose? Give yourself 30 days. I've definitely days. done 30 before. Sure. I don't think I have since yeah. I started drinking. 30 days? No. When would there ever be a time in my life where there was 30 days of no drinking? In COVID, we were all drinking in houses and all. Yeah, I mean, true. like, there was. 30 days sounds small, but like in the grand scheme of things. Like, four weeks. like It's four weeks. It's definitely a time in there where I've slipped in something. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I'm doing it. This is my plea. Your pledge. My pledge, sorry. For, so how long are you saying it's or you don't want to put time? 17th of September. I don't think I put time on it because I think that puts pressure on. Really? Uh, yeah, I think just, I think you'll actually end up doing longer if you don't put time on it. Okay. Because when you're like, when you know you have to do something, I feel like you don't want to do it more. Do you know what I mean? Like I can definitely go on a girl's holiday and not drink. Yeah. I'm still fun. I'm still Cute. young. Imagine little clips coming in of you. <laughs> I'm like, fuck the pot. I didn't mean anything I said. No, Get yeah. Me a done. But it's matter how much how your feelings can feel like that at the start of the week, though. I've done it before where I say that, and then that weekend I'm like, who wants to drink? No. Do you know what, though? I feel like I'd never like suggest drinking, though, Ratton. I just would drink if something's on. Yeah. I don't. You'd never be like, girls, mommy got a pub or something. Yeah, never. Yeah. It's not that I don't like, 
I like drinking, but like, I don't know. No, you're a cozy gal. You'd rather just. I like. Like, I just like being cozy. Yeah, I'm clearly feral. <laughs> no, not good. You're just it. the sake okay. of my menti H and everyone around me's menti H. Why was everyone having a bad menti H? No, no, no. But <laughs> I take it out and everyone then like my mum and dad got home from the holiday yes. last night. I wasn't even yeah. interested in. Yeah, couldn't even talk to her. Yeah, I left a plate of curry in my makeup room for two days, sitting there. Ew, like. She's like, how long is that there? Was it hairy? Probably. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't think, that, I don't think curry's not like ever going Go mold. off. You just leave there. Can you? I've heard that. No, I don't know how true that is. There's certain foods that are like, have whatever in them that like, they don't go off. Yeah. Or did you ever find a um, takeaway that you order and it comes too quick and you're nearly scared? We ordered a Chinese yeah. a while ago and it took 11 minutes to get to us. Ele- like that's es- from when you ordered from when we ordered I hung up the phone it took 11 minutes to the knock on the door was it a buffet sounds like they just were like uh, yeah, yeah. And I was thinking, like, maybe they just make it all and leave it there yeah true and just whatever like the most popular things they have like on the go yeah true that would make sense and they're also they're quick things to make like I think the chicken's already cooked they just coat it in like the season stop. yeah oh, I love spice right now no stop no. All the bad food. If you agree with a rant or you are also, it's called sober curious. You know? Is that what if you're it is? like curious about what would like life be like? Yeah. If you're also that or you are sober or want to give us any advice yeah. or tips, not saying we're both gone sober, but like <laughs> just let us know how you're feeling. Yeah. Then you can send in an email to homeydrink at goloudnow.com or follow us on Instagram as well, homeydrinkpod. It's where we take in a lot of suggestions and questions. Um, if I was you is where we get to give you very honest, very open and raw advice about what we do if we were you in your position. We can sit on the fence and give you maybes or ifs, etc. We have to tell you exactly how we feel about your dilemma and what we do. These are all sent in again to our email address, homeydrink at golownow.com. I kind of love the way they're anonymous as well because if we are like mm, stern to the point. Yeah, then we don't feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that, that how we're, we're never mean. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes, you kind of do have to mince your words a little bit when it's someone you know. Yeah. You'd be like, you can't be like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> we can give you a bit more tough love than yeah. we would probably. This one it says, hi girls, my daughter got me onto you and I'm hoping you can give me advice for her. She's 23 and has been with her boyfriend for nearly three years and it's always been a rough ride. She's absolutely loved up and devoted to this boy even though he's cheated on her with his ex four times. The ex has reached out to my daughter on several occasions on social media with screenshots, but my daughter's forgiven him loads. The story goes on to repeat like a circle. She won't leave. This week, she checked his phone and noticed that he has her blocked on social media. He has been on and off, still texting his ex and many other women, always late at night because he works night shifts. He accidentally rang her last week at 5 a.m. meaning to call someone else. He says she's crazy, he has not done anything and that the call was accidental. Now he won't talk to her and has left her high and dry. They have plans for a concert at the weekend and he's told her he's not going with her. Why would he? I've given her all the advice as a mom. Leave him, dump him, he'll never change. Maybe you can help her. Oh, my heart is breaking for her. That's so sad. I'd say as well to feel like, like to be a mom in that position, like you, you just want to shake them and like. You feel you, so helpless yeah. really. Like you can only say like leave him and dump him so many times. But I feel like when you're that age of 23, something like this is going to be like you have to learn on your own. It's, yeah, as hard as, yeah. as it is to watch. Oh, it's shit to watch. Like and can't imagine like that that would be any form for anyone in the family no. having to watch that knowing that that's going on like, yeah. and, and sure that causes a lot of arguments and stuff but I think once the mom can say she's done all she can do yeah you can't force the daughter to do anything she doesn't want to and it's going to be one of those lessons that she is going to learn on her own and look back at in years You're like mom you were right yeah, like, yeah. she trusts me like yeah. that does happen mm-hmm. she will look back and eventually one day thank you for doing that but it might just be a lesson just to learn on her own yeah, I think so. As any outsider, it's hard to watch, but let alone a mom. Like, that's yeah. your baby. Like, I yeah, see someone, child. someone hurting them and doing that to them and, like, seeing people, like, probably become a shell of herself. Like, mm. that's not a nice situation to be in. I was actually clearing out my attic and my sister had, like, all her memory boxes up mm-hmm. there. I had mine in my room. And she had a let. my mom wrote her a letter. And it was, like, it was about drinking, first of all, but then it was also <laughs> about her boyfriend at the time. And she was like, oh, like, this relationship you have to like look at this relationship and see if it's really what you want and like if this person is treating you right and all this it was how old so was she? Cute. Uh, she was I don't think she might have been like just gone 18 or mm. just under maybe 
Well, first of all, it was about drinking. I think she like got caught or something. <laughs> and it was like, you need to like look and see if this relationship is like right for you and all this. And it was like, I'm always there for you no matter what it is and all this. And it was just really cute. Your mom was so cute. I was actually tearing up. It was she really wrote nice. a letter. Yeah. Huh. But it's sometimes a letter, like something like that. It w- might be nice to give. Yeah, it might I know I would. a little bit more. Yeah. Like your mom sitting down in front of you, the first, let's be real, the first thing you do is fucking roll your eyes and like, oh, yeah. you don't want to hear it and you always think moms are wrong. And yeah. like, mm-hmm. only now that I'm a little bit older, I'm like, Jesus, she really knows what she's talking about. Like, yeah, yeah. So maybe, yeah, maybe like that, what your mom did, a letter, because it's not directly coming from her mouth, yeah. she's sitting you down, really feeling like she's scolding you or whatever. Yeah. Something you kind to of, read. You kind of, Sometimes when you're talking to someone, you forget half stuff you want to say or they yeah. might interrupt you. Like, at least you get on your page exactly what you think. Like, mm. and my, my mom even said in her letter, she's like, I don't want to get in between your relationship. Like, that's what I'm trying to do. But just, you need to have a look and see what you, like, it makes, it's it's not someone telling you mm. what you should do, but it's like someone telling you to observe better and to maybe see if, maybe give it yourself a second topic. Like, wait, is this what, is right this for me? Like, want? is this yeah. a nice person? Is this a good situation to be in? So yeah, I think a letter, I think that like, you've tried everything else. Mm. I think try it and just also letting her know that you're always there as frustrating as it is. Like a man will will always be there. Yeah, for of course. Like, but let us know how you get so on. Maybe you can help her. We'll tell her. Leave him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Run. Yeah. I'm telling you, run. But people can tell you until their throats are. Yeah. Like in any situation, like cheating, someone even just being any bad behavior towards you, like unless you want to leave, you won't leave. Yeah. Even if you're like, if you're banned from seeing someone, they'll find a way. To see them. Yeah. It's giving, she doesn't realise her worth and also that you will love someone more than you love this fella. It's a trauma bond. Yeah. yeah. You're in your thoughts thinking, oh my God, no, I'll never love someone like this again. And like, I don't want him to be with anyone else. Yeah. it's yeah. That's nearly more what the thought is of it's him weird, with someone it? else. You'd yeah. rather stay in something shit than yeah. think of them with someone else. Mm-hmm. But listen to your big sisters, Charlene and Ellie. Yeah. Leave him. Please. <laughs> yes. And the mom's so cute for writing in. Yeah. Keep us updated. Oh, I'd yeah. love to help her. Same. But the letter, honestly, could be a really good one. Yeah. And like my sister still has that 12 years later. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? And I was so it's stuck. Yeah. It yeah. stood did. Yeah. Well, maybe not at the time. I don't know if it's not the time. I can't remember. But like just now to read it back and be like, you were really with such, had such good intentions. And like, yeah. that's all the mom wants, really. So, my yeah. heart. I know. You can send your dilemma, first world problem, or a rant into home I drink at goloudnow.com. Any dilemmas you have, friends, relationships, parents, etc., <laughs> clothes, and like. That was our bonus episode for this week. New episodes of Home I Drink Extra Juice come out every Monday, and our main episodes are on Wednesday. Thanks to Pennies for sponsoring this episode, and don't forget to check out the collection of autumn essentials available in your nearest Pennies or Primark store now. Make sure to like, rate, and subscribe on whatever podcast platform you're listening to this on right now. We'll talk to you soon, birds. See you soon. Love you. Love you. Bye. Subscribe to this podcast for free on the Go Loud app.